Hi, I'm Tom and in this video I will do a quick review of BricsCAD BIM, tell you my thoughts on it and compare it with Revit LT for my usage as an interior designer. BricsCAD BIM is a new kit on the block of building information modeling software packages. First, let's take a look at history of BricsCAD. It has been in development since 2002 as a drafting software, kind of an AutoCAD clone. It uses the same commands as basic AutoCAD and has the same workflow. In mid-2010s, Brixy started to develop mechanical CAD and BIM features into BricsCAD, making it more than plain AutoCAD lookalike. The development is quite extensive and rapid, they are adding multiple useful features every year. In 2018, the company has been acquired by Hexagon, a multinational software giant. It is used by many large companies as well as small shops. Some of users include Hyundai, Mazda, Hitachi or Basf. Current version of BricsCAD as of recording this review is version 22. I first found out about BricsCAD in 2014 and I started to use it for 2D drafting as an AutoCAD replacement. In 2016 I started to look for enhancement of my workflow into building information modeling and at that time BricsCAD BIM was at that development stage. Basically it was a beta version. I switched to Revit LT then but to this day, I use BricsCAD for 2D drafting purpose when it's needed. BricsCAD BIM enables full building information modeling workflow, including 3D modeling, classification of objects, annotation, schedule and takeoff creation, IFC interoperability, rendering, and so on. It also offers lots of add-ins. Its modeling resembles SketchUp, with push-pull functionality. It's not as restricted and full of rules as Revit. It's easier to model without restrictions and you can classify and further develop objects with data after you have modeled them. I am not very efficient with modeling in BricsCAD, but I like this freedom of modeling. There are also some neat automation tools like Classify or Propagate. There are lots of BIM specific tools, you can easily model walls, place doors and windows, create roofs. You can create sections and elevations and create plan, section and elevation views from them. But this is where the biggest problem with BricsCAD lies for me. You can create floor plan or sections of your model and place it on sheets easily. Sheets are created automatically and you can annotate all plans and sections perfectly fine. Also, when you change your 3D model, the change is propagated to the plan view on the sheet. The problem starts when you want to make changes to your model in plan view. You cannot do that because the plan is represented only as a block created from a 3D model. This is a deal breaker for me. See, I very often find out things that I need to adjust in my project when I am looking or annotating my plan views or elevations. I want to be able to move the walls from the plan view as you can see I'm doing in Revit. With BricsCAD I can't do that. This is the main reason I'm sticking with Revit and not even thinking of moving my workflow to BricsCAD. You can see this workflow in flowchart here. In Revit, there is one model file with all the components, views, sheets and annotations. This is the database-based workflow. In BricsCAD BIM, you have one main 3D model file and all the sheets with views are created as separate files. You can create annotations in these files, but you cannot adjust the model. You can do that only in your master 3D model file. This is the file-based workflow. Each workflow has its advantages and disadvantages. With files-based workflow, you have more freedom to work with each individual file, send it to contractor and so on. 
But as I stated previously, I prefer the database-based workflow so that everything is synchronized in real time in one file. There are some other advantages of BrickSCAD BIM. It uses DWG file format, which any modeling or drafting application can open. It uses common commands from AutoCAD and all the 2D drafting capabilities are available to the user. It's also easier for companies to slowly start with BIM workflow. You don't have to jump straight into new software. You can start with old 2D drafting methods and slowly enhance them with BIM workflow. The other advantage is also that it uses the same base software for mechanical and also for civil engineering purpose. So there is no problem with file conversions such as with Autodesk products where you have Revit for architecture, Civil 3D for civil engineering, and Inventor for mechanical engineering. BrickSCAD BIM has the same API as the AutoCAD, so it can use the same add-ins and has quite extensive add-in ecosystem. These add-ins range from connecting to applications like Grasshopper, Enscape, or Lumion, applications for specializations such as civil site design, CADWorks, this is one of the reasons why Hexagon acquired Brixis. They didn't want to depend on AutoCAD with their widely used CADWorks application. Other applications enhance HVAC or electrical modeling, scaffolding or parking lots design. Brixis did a lot of work to improve working with point clouds in BrickSCAD recently. BrickSCAD is a multi-platform software, it works on Windows, Mac and Linux. Unfortunately, add-ins usually work only in Windows. Last, but not least, let's take a look at price comparison. One year subscription of Revit LT costs $475, full Revit $2545. One year of BrickSCAD BIM is $1010. So BrickSCAD BIM is roughly two times more expensive than Revit LT and two and a half times less expensive than full Revit. But unlike Revit, Brixis offers you to buy perpetual license for $1,890 and then pay maintenance of $378 per year, which is much better deal in my opinion. You will start saving money after three years compared to subscription. You would also need to add cost of 2D drafting software to Revit options, which are available in Revit LT Suite or Autodesk AEC collection, whereas BrickSCAD has 2D drafting functionality built in. I would also like to mention BrickSCAD support team. I have only good experience with them. When I had problem or was filing a bug, I always got quick response from them. The support personnel seem to know their software well and are genuinely seeking solving the problem, not just getting rid of it and closing the ticket. My conclusion is that even though I like BrickSCAD BIM and I think it's capable software, in my use case Revit LT fits me better. The main reason is that Revit workflow is not separated into several files, which means that changes can be done in any view and are propagated automatically to the whole model. I can also see why BrickSCAD BIM might be preferable for solution for other cases. It's good that there is competition in BIM authoring software world. Take care.